many men of Manchester. I'm a man. Many men in Manchester. Many men in Manchester. Many Manchester. Many Manchester. Many Manchester. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Um, thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to pitch today. Um, my, my name's Gareth Briley. Um, I, have, I have pitched you one film before, but. <laughs> I haven't heard anything yet, but I'm sure you're just taking it all in. So this is my second one. I've got loads. <laughs> By the way, I'm, I'm Gareth Briley. I'm an actor. I'm a writer, of course. Um, I'm a producer, choreographer. And um, I, I do a lot of medical trials as well for just a bit of, bit of cash. <laughs> I have things injected into my eyes and into my ears. But, you know, it's, it's all for the good cause. But rather me than the animals. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they say to me. It's equity minimum as well, which is always... always... Anyway, 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 about, my, uh, about this today. Um, I, I, I'm just going to say to you what this is. This is a, a Christmas movie stroke futuristic action thriller. And it's called Santa 3000 brackets Future Claws. So, the film is basically a blend of, say, uh, Blade Runner and maybe Sophie's Choice. I've not seen Sophie's Choice, but I heard it's, it's quite futuristic. And in this world, it's a year 3000. Everyone's practically a robot. Now, Christmas Day isn't Christmas Day anymore. It's called Google Mass. And why is that? Well, there was a third world war between... Amazon land and the Instagram Federation of Facials and, and they fought the Instagram Federation of Facials they lost and Amazon land controlled the world and they took over Christmas they got rid of Santa his wife the elves they all got chucked out and where the where the workshop was in the North Pole they they put that down built up a warehouse where they manufactured 240k plasma TVs now 240k is high definition, so high definition that the TVs just they, they just they just visualize your dreams and they place them on the TV. That's how high definition that is. Anyway, that's the sub that I've gone on. Anyway, so that's the setup. Here comes the plot. So the plot now has Santa Claus who's unemployed and of course he finds himself in New York City. Or, or Croydon. It's up to you. See where the budget is. And he's walking around New York City and he sets up a private detective agency. Of course, we don't see any of this. It's, it just happens. And he's now a private detective and he's smoking, he's unfit, he, he's got a bad cough, and when he coughs, he goes, ho, ho, ho. See what I did? See what I did. And, and, and his sidekick, of course, is Rudolph. Uh, but Rudolph is not a reindeer. No. Due to magical science, he's got human form. And uh, Rudolph is just an alcoholic. And uh, between the two of them, it's a bit like Lethal Weapon, comedy banter, uh, Santa Claus might say, Hey, Rudolph, your red nose is glowing, stop drinking. And, in, and Rudolph goes, Hey, Santa, you fat sod, stop eating. And that, that, kind of, that kind of stuff, that would keep us going for about 40 minutes. And uh, anyway, anyway, the plot of the story involves the main villain. And the main villain is Black Friday. Now, Black Friday... It's just a normal person, a lovely sales assistant, man or woman. See what we're like in the casting. And they're working in Audi. And they're working away on Black Friday. And suddenly all the shoppers came in and this poor little shop assistant gets, gets trampled. And a, a, a widescreen 240k TV falls on top of them. And we think they're dead. But no. They've got the powers of the widescreen TV. The remote control was embedded deep into their solar plexus. So now they can just they can just use powers that I can't imagine. And and now Black Friday wants revenge on the city for this terrible accident. So Black Friday sends an advent calendar to the city's mayor. And you can't resist opening an advent calendar. So they open up the first door for example and in there is a picture of tinsel. And while they're looking at the lovely picture of tinsel, right across the other side of town, a bit of electrical tinsel is strangling an eight-year-old girl. Yeah. And then they open another door the next day, a second one. And what's there? I'll tell you what's there. It's a lovely picture of beautiful pigs in blankets. Yeah. 
And what's happening across the other side of town? Actual pigs in actual blankets mugging old age pensioners. And then you might open another door. What do you see? Some stuffing. Across the side of town, stuffing is going up someone's bum. And then you might open another one, there's holly reefs, they're electrocuting people. You might open another one, and there's actually turkeys there, looking lovely and beautiful on, 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 a, on, on a table on Christmas Day. But no, now there's robot turkeys out there eating people, and they're all a bit dry. Yeah, so that's, that's the kind of thing that Black Friday, which I think is going to be a, a super villain, and, and that's where we are. End of that one. So, I am, there's loads of supporting characters in this, and because I imagine this franchise will just keep on going and there'll be spin-offs and all Anyway, anyway, I, I'm ahead of myself, but... Um, the first character I really like is called January Sales. And January Sales is an old flame of Black Friday. And actually, January Sales is Puerto Rican, so you pronounce the name Janay Salis. Yes. <laughs> and actually, January sales, because I won't say that again, um, is actually running a kind of refuge for all the victims of Black Friday. That's one. The next one is uh, Christmas Fairy. And Christmas Fairy isn't what you think, because Christmas Fairy is actually a karate lesbian, not one of the porno lesbians, a real one, who's actually out there to fight crime. And she is the great, 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 great grandmother of Margaret Thatcher. She hasn't got her politics, but she's got a kick-ass ability. She'll often be heard saying, The lady is not for changing, mother sucker! Yeah, that's her Christmas fairy. And the next one is um, Elf on the Shelf. And Elf on the Shelf is a kind of joker kind of character, a bit evil, um, laughs a lot, goes, <laughs> and does that, and burns the letters from all the children to keep warm. Yeah, that's Elf on the Shelf. And then there's Crampon. And Crampon was an actual musician who used to wear a sort of horn on his head and play heavy metal. And then one day, due to electrical science, the, the thing fell over and the horn got actually put into his head. And he now eats bad people while singing heavy metal versions of Christmas carols. They're the supporting characters. Brilliant. <laughs> so... The finale, I'm, I'm really happy about this. So it's Christmas Eve, the mayor of New York City has got the advent calendar from Black Friday. He can't resist it, he can't resist opening the last one. And as he does, he looks in and what does he see? A picture of the 70s band from England, Slade. Seems innocent, but no. He looks out the window and there's a giant 50 foot noddy holder. Walking the streets of New York, trampling the world like Godzilla. So Santa Claus, Rudolph, Christmas Fairy, Crampon, they all have to come. And it's a massive fight. CGI, Naughty Horrors going, it's Christmas! And the sound waves are knocking buildings to the floor. It's chaos. And they're all fighting him and he knocks them apart. And they're on the floor. They're almost defeated. It's near near the end. But there's a noise. And a giant robot appears 50 foot tall with claws for hands and on top of the head is a lovely old lady. Who is it? Mrs. Claus. She's come to save the day and she does. Big CGI fight, more CGI than you could ever imagine because that's always really successful in third acts. And then it's done and everyone's happy Christmas has returned back to Santa Claus, he gets his old job back, Rudolph has turned back to a reindeer, Mrs Claus is back making toys, all the others go off and do other films, and it's a great time. So, Happy Christmas! So that is uh, my, uh, my movie, so um, I'm feeling really confident with the computer software at the moment, so um, I think I've just put my Twitter <laughs> just down here, so you can see it at the bottom of the screen. Um, so Twitter me there, and um, if you really like this film, or Tree Man, please, um, please get hold of me. Send me an offer. Don't be scared. <laughs> Happy Christmas, or, yeah, or, or whatever your thing is. Uh, so this is merch. Um, this, this, of course, first of all, is, is the way I see where we're sitting. This is my nan made these. She's hand, handmade these. This is, uh, this is Santa. I'm driving home for Christmas. 
I got my beaver on the back. I'm driving home for Christmas. I got my things in the back. I'm driving home for Christmas. That's kind of cramp on. That would be his. Hey, you Rudolph. When you stop drinking, then you can tell me to do some. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What fun times we we have. Yeah. You know, you might do a carol. You might go. But more heavy metal. You know. On a Tuesday I ride that kind of that kind of thing, that, that. and this is the actual real Rudolph. So I imagine, and I don't know how to do this because I'm not taking. It would be like a transformer toy. So you'd have that. You press a few buttons, and then that would that would appear like that. But the, basically, they're the same thing. But my nan, my nan can't do that. Kind of, that would be the sort of like the beating. There might be a rap, but we'll see. We'll see.